Hey guys, welcome back. Zachariah Shoop. And if you saw the last video, uh, you'll notice I am still in the same area and uh, same shirt. And uh, in the last video, I tried Thailand candy for like the first or second time. But it was my first time recording myself eating Thailand candy. And that was uh, an interesting experience. And now I'm back for episode two of either... It's either called... White guy tries international candy for the first time, or an American tries international candy for the first time. Not uh, undecided on the final title, I will choose one or the other of those for uh, these episodes until the title is finally chosen. Might even be a completely different title, who knows. Uh, if you want to see me trying Thailand candy, uh, the link to that is in the video description below. And now, what country are we going to try candy from uh, today? Well, <clears throat> I've tried this before, and uh, it was good. So we'll see if... Uh, it was a while ago, though. So we'll see if it kept the same or if it changed it a little. But today we are going to the country of Chile. Uh, yeah, it's a South American country. Uh, really hot from what I hear, and they speak Spanish. Um, so, without further ado, let me show you the two pieces of Chilean candy. Uh, it's a hard candy, but, sorry. There we go. Can you see that? Uh, judging by the picture, it's a grape-flavored candy. And this one is a pineapple-flavored uh, candy. You can see the, uh, the pineapple, picture of a pineapple on the packaging. Now, I like both of these flavors, uh, so i am got high hopes for this. Um, if for some unforeseen reason I do not like, I do not like these two, I don't see how I can't, but nothing personal, it's just how my taste buds are. <laughs> so, without further ado, which one should I try first? Grape? Or pineapple. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Well, looks like your pineapple won this one. That was uh, an old kid saying uh, growing up when you had to make a decision. You're like, oh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. But enough of that. Let's try it. See if I can get it open. Now, it is a hard candy. So, and hard candies tend to stick to the packaging. Oh, wow. Look at that. Tend to stick to the packaging more than non-hard candies. Well, I guess it's about the same. Just depends on the weather. But, uh, let's see if I can pry this off here. Oh, man. I hope I didn't get any plastic with that. <coughs> mm. Wow. That is a little sticky now. Um, so, as expected, there is a strong uh, pineapple flavor to it. It's really good. Um, it's stuck to the... Uh, the wrapper, so now it's kind of sticking to my teeth. Hang on here. See if I can get it unstuck. Ah, there we go. Um, one cool thing about uh, hard candies is that um, they help you get a lot of saliva going so your mouth's not dry. And for me personally, uh, they help me uh, change my voice and do some crazy voice impersonations. Hmm, would you like to, uh, you know, you can hear it already. My voice is changing a little. Uh, I'm feeling a lot more saliva in my mouth. It's a good pineapple flavor. Personally, I love pineapple, so uh definitely would eat this candy again. Crunch factor right there. Okay. 
Now, with the crunch factor right there, it kind of tasted, well, maybe a little burnt. I don't know. No? It was just a strong burst of pineapple flavor. It's really good. Now, let's try to go with the grape flavor. I think it would be cool to visit Chile at some point. I experienced another country. I've been to seven different countries. Um, I've had the privilege of doing it. It's been a blessing. Uh, countries I've been to. Jamaica, Belize, Honduras, uh, Cozumel, uh, I'm trying to do this all from memory, so Jamaica, Belize, Grand Cayman, Jamaica, Belize, Grand Cayman, uh, Honduras, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, so I've been to the whole island of Hispaniola, and then that was seven, so eight, so that was six, and the seventh country has been Mexico. It's been Cozumel, Mexico, and then also kind of northern Mexico in an area called Piedras Negras, Mexico, translated as Black Rock, Mexico, just across the border, and then I went to the area of Hokotepec, uh, Ahihik area, which is an hour away from, about an hour away from Guadalajara, uh, so kind of not that close to Mexico City, I guess, I'm not 100% sure, I would have to look at, uh, uh the map, but, um, yeah, so it's been a real privilege and an honor to, uh, to do missions work and interact with the locals in those countries. Now, let's, uh, okay, double, there's a double wrap in here, so here's the main one, and then a uh, clear wrap package, which I like this better, it kind of gives uh, extra protection for the candy. Um, you can see it's sticking, so, as we've done so far, here to see you guys. Ooh. Okay, that got stuck to my lip. Mm. Really good. A uh, strong grape flavor. It's sticking to my teeth like the other one did. Not as big as a crunch factor. Um. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Really good. I'll have to um, record a video of me doing a different voice, different voices with uh, hard candy on my mouth or uh, a sucker. Um, if you're wondering how I got uh, this international candy, I uh, was at the International Conference on Missions, or ICOM for short, and, uh, man, that's a lot of saliva, <laughs> hard candy does that, um, and anyway, International Conference on Missions is a, a cool place where a lot of international, uh, missions organizations, and, uh, some colleges and, uh, missionaries all get together and they can network with each other, and it's just a cool time. Uh, we actually met partners uh, there, and uh, it's just an amazing time, so cool thing about it, and one of my favorite things is you get to try candy from a whole bunch of different uh, countries that they have on the tables, so it's a good time. Uh, anytime you can try uh, something international, it's a good opportunity, especially if it's candy. Now, thank you for watching. Uh, I enjoyed this candy. It was good. I enjoy all candy. Uh, some more than others, obviously. But uh, to me personally, I've never had a bad piece of candy. Um, as always, be blessed. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Hope you like and subscribe.
if you haven't already. And be on the lookout for episode 3. Again, let me know in the comments below what the title of this series should be called. Should it be called White Guy Tries International Candy or An American Tries International Candy? Either one works for me. Um, again, take care, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.